Well, Happy New Year, Dal. And you? The perfect start. You must be delighted. I'm delighted. I said to players, it's not really New Year's Day for me, to be honest. It's more like um, New Year starts at the first game of the season. So the, the day I walked in the job, that's when you uh, started with me. And it'll finish in May. And uh, the lads will finish in May. But what a great performance. And for a weird performance, I thought you can't get much better, to be honest. I thought one of the front foot for me off. I thought we controlled the game. Um, it was lovely to come back and see some lovely faces around here, but performance-wise, you'd not get much better than that, to be honest. And you decided to freshen things up today, yeah. and you must have been delighted with the response of the players, particularly those that came in today. Yeah, Lua, Craigie, you know, Hattrick and all that, because we thought we might be able to get behind them. And with Heidi playing, how good Heidi is, he scores a lot of goals, Heidi, but he ain't going to get behind teams, but Lua does. And um, we thought that, we thought with Hodgie, we run that people as well. Max said he was fit and um, ended up not being a little bit of so a hamstring, but we'll see how it goes, you know. And uh, um, hopefully he'll be all right for Sunday. If not, he'll be all right for the Welling game, so there's no great shakes. And um, so we did freshen things up. Um, I thought Harvey Taylor had his best game today. A lot of good performances. Uh, I think Lou will get the, the applause, but have a little look for Nathan Collier. You know, Nathan was outstanding today, outstanding. So um, where everybody goes on the back four, and, which are fantastic, and everybody goes on about bloody, you know, the, the, the midfield lads and Lua. Have a little look. You know, I keep banging on about Nathan Collier. Just see what he gives you every week. He's seven, eight, nines out of ten. And the day he was a nine out of ten. I thought he was outstanding. Well, I agree with you because I picked him out in commentary, and I actually yeah. said he reminded me, for anybody who's ancient, of Paul Maidley, who was a utility player with Leeds, could play at centre back, midfield, full back. And Nathan Collier, as, yeah. as you say today, made some crucial interceptions in the first half. And he was always available, wasn't he? Ah, but his defending was great as well. And uh, I keep on banging on what a great lad he is and how valuable he's been to me since I've managed him and he's never caused me any problems whatsoever um, so I'm delighted to get him in the summer and people are saying oh, he's, what's he about and I think now he's shown what he's about to be honest and I think he's been absolutely excellent yes Gavin yes Cook Casey but, but we always get the mentions Nathan never gets a mention but, um, but it's great like listen I wish the support as anybody a happy new year because the way we have backed us today and when you walk out there and you see all that fans from there all the way around to there it takes some doing that to be honest you know and, and um, for a club like ours so Hopefully we're um, giving them something to celebrate and cheer about at this minute. We're a long way to go, obviously, and um, but we look forward to game by game and we'll get the Watford one out of the way and then we've got well to look forward to, you know. And uh, in your catch-up with Mr Holmes the other day, you spoke about pre-match mind games right. in the fixture on Boxing Day. Any today? No, I was fine. Gabby's a good lad, you know. He's, uh, my son knocks about with his son and he's a good kid and he'll do a good job down here, given time, he will, and uh, all the rest of it. But, it's none of it. Um, he thought he thought we would make more changes. I'm a big believer, because all managers are different. I'm a big believer that you got to win every game you play, um, and all us have done. And if I've got to get a bigger squad, I get one or two out and one or two in. That's what you do. So I'm not really into that, really. But um, you probably thought we'd make more changes because we're saving ourselves for the um, the Watford game. But it's no same. The lads have been. Uh, like, listen, main games me. I'm not good enough to do them. The manager have won things, but it's about the players. The players here have been absolutely unique in the last since the Swindon game. They've won every single league game, okay, and they've done it themselves. Uh, yes, you say, oh, Ian and Martin, we were the first ones to admit it's all down to the players what we have done. They've kept the places, they've kept focus to him. We've said to them, I'll tell you what, because what, what, what happens a lot is some players won't put tackles in because they don't want to miss the Watford game. We've sort of said to them, if you do that, you won't play. And they have bought into that massively. I haven't been able to change that much except for today because the players have been accurate. How could I change the back four and the goalkeeper? How can I change the midfield? I'm fetching things up as a gamble up front. But the players, the sales, they don't worry about the manager and don't worry about that I think them like and other players have been the ones who got the through. And me, Ian and Martin will be the first to admit that we have been absolutely excellent. And it must have been particularly pleasing as well to find yourself 2-0 up at half time mm. so dominant. The temptation uh, might have been to take it easier in the second half, take your foot off the gas, but it wasn't to be and you came out all gums blazing. I thought we'd done that in Boxing Day and that was the message. Look at Boxing Day, we were comfortable at half time, we're doing really well. Second half and we had a game. I'm not saying it didn't, you know, but the day was different. The day I felt we were all game, to be honest. I think, you know, I'm not trying to be clever and, you know, and stuff like that. I wouldn't disrespect you and club, um, your club, sorry. But the bottom line is, I thought we were that dominant through the game. I'm, I'm delighted how we've done. And it's all down to players. It's all down to players, I'm telling you that now. And the help of the supporters and what the supporters give with, you know, like if I was a player, and um, I've always said how much I wanted to manage this club, but if I was a player and I walk out and I see that, it must give you a buzz. Yeah, I did. I went a little bit earlier the day just to thank them for coming. And it, it gives you a massive thing in our fans and all that. So we're very proud of our supporters, we really are, and what we give us. Uh, I, hope it may, I hope it continues for as long as we can, you know. 
And now, so I'm finally going to mention the W word, the so Watford game. I thought you were going to talk about Welland. <laughs> <laughs> can I ask you, what, it, what does it mean to you as a manager? I don't know, I haven't thought about it much because I'm not that sort of lad. I didn't like interviews. I got myself in the Express today and I, uh, some of the things I said. And so, but I, in the great and all these people are fantastic, but I didn't buy in there much because it, but it's fantastic for the club. It'll be a very proud moment. It, it, more so to give the club back the people because the people have been crying out for Premiership club down there and then um, haven't had that for 20 years or whatever have and all the rest of it. so a premiership club at Kingsview when it's rocking I'm delighted for them so I'm delighted for the people I'm delighted for the volunteers obviously massively for the players they can enjoy it now we'll get the big heads on the cameras and football focus and the sun and all that thing that's coming down on Thursday or whatever it is and then um, it'll be great for them but the bottom line is you know after that we'll have a go and after that we'll um, you know we've got to concentrate on well and but just get we've been crying out loud to give the club back the people if you give a club back to the people, the people will buy into it. You know, what a great opportunity to do it. So if we get five, six here, and we can keep a couple of thousand of them and build this great club up again, and that's what they're doing, because maybe over the last few years it's went down a little bit. So let's build it up again, that's what we've got to do. And Woking, obviously famous for their FA Cup shocks. Yep. Is there a chance of another one on Sunday? Absolutely none. But at the same thing, we'll try it. But no, of course, I, I do have gone, and of course I'm going to see a none and got no chance, because if you play well, it'll absolutely smash with. But in life, if I'm going to be a manager, and I want to be a manager the highest I can, I've got to believe I'm going to give a football. So from tomorrow onto the weekend, we'll have to try to find a way how we can beat Watford. And if I can't think like that, I won't turn up on Sunday. We've got to find a way. Realistically, no. Realistically, we're thinking five, six leagues above we're in the top half of the Premiership. But realistically, it never comes into football. You know, if we've got a heart and a a will to win, we've got to have a belief in winning a game of football. Lovely. Thank you very much. Right. Enjoy the rest of New Year's Day. Okay. All the best, you all. Thank okay, you. Bye. bye.